So in the previous video, we created our users using our form here. Using our registration form, we created two users. We're able to link our form here to our Firebase console and we're able to create two users right here. So to demonstrate how this works is when you register another user here, let's say our name is Asha and our email is Asha at gmail com and our password is this thing and we're going to submit this thing and this thing is going to give us that our account is created and it's going to redirect us to the login page so in the login page what we're going to need to do now is write the javascript function to log into our app using our account that is created on firebase right here so on our app right now, we are now able to create accounts using Firebase authentication. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a way to log in to Firebase using the accounts we created right here. So to do that, we go back to our code. And instead of opening sign up, we're going to open the index, the HTML file, we're going to close the other files because we do not need them we might need this code right here we'll need this code right here so i'm going to copy this because we will need it so after opening our index.html file we're going to create another file called login.js and in our html file we're going to use that as our script we're going to say script and we're going to say source it's going to be login to js and the type is going to be module which will allow us to use imported functions in our javascript so we're going to defer this so that it loads after everything is loaded and we're going to paste this function here this function what it basically does is it imports firebase initialize app from firebase and it imports get auth but this time we are not going to be using this function here create user with password we are not going to be using this one we are going to be using another function which is sign in user with email and password that's the function that we're going to be using this time so let's go back to our firebase documentation firebase documentation and what we're going to need to do so we're going to need to import this function here we're going to need to import this function here from firebase get auth that's where we import that function from and we're going to be using this function here to sign in our user be using this function here to sign in our user so in here we're going to do the same thing we did on the other video we're going to do the same thing we did on the other video which is grab the input fields and the login button so the first thing we'll do is grab the login button which will be const let's say login is going to be document but get element by id get element by id and our id i believe is login then we're going to save that one and then we're going to take the button which is login and then we're going to add an event listener to it the event listener is going to be click that's the event we're listening for and once that button is clicked we're going to run this function right here we're going to run this function here whenever this button is clicked we're going to run this function here to test if it works let's say alert five and then i'm going to click on login and then boom our javascript is connected successfully so we're going to erase this and we're going to copy this function. We're going to cut it and we're going to paste it within our function. But what you will notice about this function is that it needs an email and a password to work. So we're going to say const email is equals to document but get element. Get element by ID and we're going to grab our email right here. And we're going to say const password is going to be document that get element by id and our id is word 
just to confirm, let's look at our input fee form here, our IDC mail and its password, and it's login. So everything will work accordingly. So another trap that I fall into frequently is to grab the input fields themselves, but we don't need the input fields. We need the, the value that is within them. So we're going to add value here, put value. So in our sign-in with email and password function, when our user, when they have an account, Firebase is going to log in our user here. It's going to log them in. So once they are logged in, I want us to know that our user is logged in. So I'll say alert, alert, let's say five here for success. And then if an error occurs on Firebase, let's say the email that we're using is already used by another user on Firebase, we're going to need to let our user know. So we're going to say alert and we're going to say error message. Error message and we're going to say it like that. Right now, our form is like this and we have three users on our app. So let's try to log in using the first email. Using, let's say I'm the first user and I want to log into my app. So what I can do is click on my email and then click on my password and then submit. And with that, our user is successfully logged in. But let's say I had the wrong password. I like inputted the wrong password and then I clicked on submit. What you're going to get is Firebase is going to let you know that this thing is the wrong password. So Firebase is cool because it allows you to give your users errors without writing the code yourself. You know, you don't have to write authentication code yourself. Firebase will do everything for you. So it is cool in that way. So since our we can log in using users, using our user email and password, what we're going to need to do is redirect our user to, we're going to redirect our user to our dashboard, which is our app. Let's see, dashboard.html. Once our user is signed in, we're going to need to, but once they are signed in, we're going to redirect them to our dashboard file there. If I click on here and click on my correct password this time and click on submit, what it's going to do, um, let's see, don't save, let me input user. So once our user is logged in, it's going to redirect us to our dashboard. So in the next video, we're going to be creating our dashboard here. So everything that's here, we're going to be creating in the next video. We're going to be creating our dashboard. Right now, our dashboard is empty, but in the next video, we're going to be creating all of this. So in this video, what we did is we created our user. We created our form, which allows our users to log in using our accounts that are on Firebase. So in the next video, we're going to be using a Firebase database to store our tasks here so that when we log in off with our details, we're able to put our files here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.